Okay, this is going to be a non-viral video, literally, because I ordered and bought, or ordered and received a UV kit, and I'm going to show everybody how to put it on, how I put it on my HVAC system. So, I got this D200 UVC light system from bestdealuv.com, it was about $90 I think. It's got a couple sockets here for um, compact fluorescent bulbs that are in the correct wavelength to kill viruses and bacteria and other creepy crawlies. It comes with bulbs. And I'm not going to take it out just yet because I don't want to get fingerprints on it. And what I'm going to use to install it. Is I have a circle cutter it's a sheet metal tool I work in the HVAC world so I already had one you could probably use snips or a hole saw depending on what your duct system is made out of cordless impact wrench with a Phillips and my high-speed drill to run the circle cutter All right, so I marked the distance of the holes I need to cut out. This in my plenum. I've decided to put it on the top side of my A coil to try and kill all the creepy crawly stuff that grows in there in the summertime when the A coil is wet. Um, if you know any HVAC techs, you can ask them how nasty they get. And so what I did is I measured out from the center um, basically halfway to either side so I need to cut a hole to fit the lamps through and the center to center on the lamp holders is 3 and 5 ace or 92 millimeters so first thing I'm gonna do is take a circle burner and drill in some starter holes stuff all right if you've never used a circle burner they work pretty nice now I just have to get the pivot point in there get the drill bit started Now we just turn it clockwise. Well, that worked nice. Oopsie. According to plan, my pivot point in my circle burner wasn't tight. I haven't used it for a while, so I guess I'm kind of rusty. Now you can see that it slips right in position, and I pre drilled my holes. So I'm going to put the lamps in and get this thing mounted. So that's what the bulbs look like and if I remember right it's important that you don't touch it. So there's one.
Yes. And here is two. Saw that trick on their YouTube page where you use the cardboard to protect the glass. I forgot to do it on the first one. So here we go. and tight. I'm gonna take some foil tape. Make sure I got a good seal. So I don't really know if these things work or not, but what I do know from being a commercial HVAC tech for a while is that you sure see them in a lot of hospital air handlers. They usually have them by the chilled water coil, obviously a little bit bigger than this. And they actually do go through the trouble of replacing the bulbs yearly. So it leads me to believe that there is some validity to the claim that it kills viruses and bacteria. So, with the coronavirus going on, this is $90 and about 15 minutes worth of work. And hopefully it'll uh, hopefully it'll work out good. So we're ready to plug the thing in. It just plugs into a regular 120 volt outlet. And there is some, um, I saw some discussion online that some people wire them into the fan on their furnace so that it only comes on when the fan is on. Uh, I guess my thought is there's always going to be a little bit of airflow in the ductwork even when the fan's off. So cold air sinks, hot air rises, so might as well just leave it on. So I'm going to go plug it in. And my understanding is that indicator light is actually a reflective it's a reflection of the bulbs themselves, not just in like a status LED. So as long as that blue light's on, we've got um, the thing working. It'll hopefully kill viruses, kill, hopefully it'll kill the coronavirus, and hopefully keep the uh, condensate pan from filling up with that slime that is so common. So all in all, it's a pretty easy project. I think it's Right at $90, I bought it on eBay. So, cheap insurance maybe. So, be safe out there. Thanks for watching.